Good morning. Welcome to my coffee chat. And I'm here all alone again today, but that's okay because I feel your spirit. I'm really feeling connected in a way that um, I want to share something to you, with you. Um, I'm going to be honest. Um, the real reason I'm here. The real reason I'm here, besides I, I got an inspiration and I got a spiritual message to show up here because more people were looking for help and not sure how to utilize or employ or, or stay on track with manifesting challenge. Um, I my, The real reason I'm here is because I want so bad, I want it so bad that you get what you want. You see, for 24 years, I've been doing this work as a spiritual life coach, as a mentor for people. And my biggest issue is I want it too bad for people. And that's where I get disappointed is because what I want and what I can see for you in your potential and your capabilities and the possibilities is maybe bigger than you can actually have or receive or embody. And so it gets, it trips me up a lot of times, you know, it breaks my heart. It uh, disappoints me when I don't get what I want to see you fulfilled, right? Because that's the, 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 the selfish part of me of why I do this work. You know, I was thinking about it this morning and when I was a little girl, I loved, I mean, who doesn't love being friends with all the popular kids in your class, right? And what I started doing, I was, I just realized that I would make friends with all the wallflowers or the kids that were ostracized. And so I was sort of straddling both sides of the fence. And I was asking myself, why did I make friends with the kids that weren't popular? And it was because I was an empath. I was super sensitive. I'm starting to well up here. I felt sorry for them in some way. Maybe I thought that I could help them or maybe just being, you know, happy and positive and helpful would um, make, I don't know, make a friend, somebody to like me. And uh, so I think I've gone through my whole life trying to make people happy. And I know that as an empath, that is a weak link, right? Um, but it's also my strength. And it's the thing that pushes me, helping people see the vision in, that maybe they don't have for themselves to fulfill their potential and um, create things that they never thought were possible. Because you see, our history, we've all got one. I, if you've heard my story before, I've, I've got a challenging childhood and I've got some things that I'm not proud about uh, in my early days. And those were things that held me back and definitely kept me from shining my light or thinking bigger, dreaming bigger, manifesting bigger. Honestly, I've manifested some things that I never thought possible and never even imagined, never mind thought possible. And that's what I do is helping other people uh, create things that is off the radar. You know, I always tell the story about the princess that got pregnant after all the top medical doctors told her she could never get pregnant naturally. You know, I've healed my own self. I've, I've got so many stories over the years, but, you know, again, what keeps getting me up in the morning and doing this, why I'm here today is because I believe in you. I know there's something deep within you that you haven't yet touched on or you haven't hit the pot spot yet. And I know you're ready to receive it. I'm, I know that you might need some support, maybe a kick in the butt from time to time, or somebody to hold your hand and give you a hug that you know you're on the right track. Um, I work with a lot of really successful people, really smart people who have maybe hit a ceiling or hit a wall and just can't figure out why everything they used to do isn't working anymore. And so when we get to that place, it's because what I explain is energy. So if, if it's not something you're doing wrong, it's not a flaw in your personality, you get to do it different. You get to go, oh, let me shift gears here. And unbeknownst to me, there's something, you know, that I can't see behind me 
a pattern of energy, a pattern of doing things, a pattern of thinking, perhaps, maybe a pattern of feeling. So body, mind, spirit. I'm, I've been a long time advocate of all that. Sometimes we need to take a physical approach. Sometimes it's a, a new mindset. Sometimes it's just emotional baggage that is a lie that we're telling ourselves that we're holding on to. We can't seem to shake, you know? So anyway, I hope this has been some inspiration for you of why I'm coming for you, why I'm showing up, and that you can, by practicing the guided tools that I've got as part of the manifesting challenge, just practice them, sit down, listen to them every single day, one at least. And when you apply that consistently, things will start to shift, right? We don't have to intellectually know what we're doing. Just commit to that. Just show up for yourself. You don't have to show up here and talk to me or share your wins or, or, or your troubles, but I you know, implore you to give it to yourself. I promise you, you'll see a difference. I promise you it will shift something, right? So that you can you know, shift gears or do it different or in, open up your heart a little bit or let go of something that just dragging you down. So just apply that, show up for yourself. And if nothing else, and you need live support, I will be doing that, repeating the five live days, half an hour, just 30 minutes each day coming at the end of September, September 26th through the 30th. So if you want share this with somebody else have a have a, an accountability partner that you both show up those recordings in september will be played for the whole month so i'm giving you a boost i'm giving you a nudge and i'm giving you tools that are extremely powerful they may be simple they may be 20 to 30 minutes in of your time but i promise you it'll make a huge huge shift for you okay so I'll, I hope you'll join me and I'll look forward to seeing more of your faces. I will be live here every single day, 11 a.m. Eastern time until September 30th. I'm committing to every day live with you to chat, to ask, answer questions. And uh, after September 30th, I'll reconfigure and see what I'm going to do for you. Um, but I'm here, and you, if you don't catch me live, then you can always listen to the replay. So I hope you'll look forward to that. I hope you share it with others that you care about as much as I care about you, even if we don't know each other yet. Have a great day. Enjoy your coffee. I'll finish mine. <laughs>